Hi, my name is Elaine and in today's video, I'm going to show you some of the things that I picked up in Ikea. So first things first, this is the first video I'm filming in my new house. This room is really echoey, but every room in my house is echoey at the moment, so apologies with that. But I am getting a new camera and a new microphone in probably the next month, so that's going to revolutionise and transform all my videos. Another thing to note is that it's really hot today in Ireland, so that's why I'm quite shiny. Um, at the moment it's registering 25 degrees inside my house, so all I'm wearing actually is a t-shirt as I'm filming this. But I'm just back from Ikea, it's our second trip to Ikea since we moved into the house. In one of our first trips we got like our bed, our day bed uh, for the spare room, two mattresses and Today we actually also picked up some other furniture, but what I wanted to go through was the 250 euro odd that we spent on homewares. Um, they have a really great range at the moment and Ikea is being done up. If you haven't been, I don't know if it's been done up worldwide, but in Dublin in particular, it's being done up just to make it more user friendly, I guess. So they've got like a bedding section where you can go and speak to people and then help you out and they'll give you like the list of things that you should need to go and go and get in the marketplace and there's like an area where you can test out the mattresses. There's also this really good area which is all to do with drawer inserts for your kitchen drawers. Which may not seem like much but it's... All, all I'm saying is that it will change your life if you have an Ikea sized press. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to jump into the video, show you what I spent. 250 euro, I was surprised at how cheap it was for everything that we got. The first thing is that we picked up three of these. So these are, if you can see, they're like picture rails. So they go like this and you mount them to a wall. And they're, they are designed for picture rails. But in my last apartment, our previous landlord had hung these in the kitchen and he we used to use them for spice racks. So you're able to fit like two jars of spices. I think these might be a tiny bit wider. I'm not sure, they might be a little bit wider or I'm just misremembering them. But we got three of these. These are called the Moss Landa. And I can't remember every single price, but I'm gonna stick all of the prices just here and with the details as I'm telling you about them. But yeah, I'll also insert an image of what they used to look like in my apartment to show you. But we got three of these, so when we do up our kitchen, we're gonna hang these over by the cooker. So they'll be like three stacked above each other and then we can put all our spices there. Next up we went and got a lot of glasses. So we bought glasses before in Ikea and they all smashed except for one. So we had six sets of glasses and we now have one. So we needed to buy new glasses. So instead of going for that previous range we had before, we went for these ones which are the, um, these are the Ikea 365 range. So they're like a nice big tumbler, they're 100, no, they're 15 ounces, so 45 cl, and they're shaped, and they're shaped like this. So they're really nice, actually, kind of plastic thing out. So they're really nice glasses. You can use them, I think it says you can use them for hot or cold. If not, they're dishwasher safe, which is good. I just thought these are really nice, really nice simple glasses and I'm going to get some metallic straws which I'm going to be able to put into them. Uh, so we got six of those and again I'll stick the price down here. Very cheap though if I remember. I think the 365 plus range is quite cheap. We also got some kind of fancier glasses so um, we have no pint glasses in the house and at Christmas when my brother was over it, it just got very funny because he kept looking for things and we just didn't have them in the apartment and then he kind of turned to me and he was like you don't have point losses do you and i was like no no we don't so we got two point glasses so these are i don't know what cl point loss is 50 cl i think maybe so we got two of these which are just like bar point glasses and then also ronan saw and um, these big kind of tankard glasses like big german beer glasses so he got two of these as well. So if he has people over, they can drink out of these. And they just look quite cool. I actually think that this would be real nice in the winter time to make a massive hot chocolate out of. And these are, I don't know the names of these, but again, oh, they're made, they're made in Russia for Ikea. Cool. Another glass thing that we got was a vase. So my mom came up to visit this weekend, which is why we went out to Ikea. And her boyfriend had bought me lilies and... Mom was like, so do you have a vase? I'm sure you have a vase somewhere in the house. And 
the moment the lilies are sitting over staring at me and they're sitting in a jug for a blender. So I got this, which again, don't think was too expensive, but it's like, it's handmade apparently, but this gorgeous glass vase. So um, I'm gonna pop them, the lilies into these and I think it'll look really nice on the front of our fireplace. Cause our fireplace doesn't actually work and we've no intentions of making it work. So we're just going to, I'm gonna use it and put fresh flowers there. Like already the lilies have just brightened up the room. So I think I'm gonna constantly get flowers and put them in that vase. Next up then, we got a couple of things for our kitchen drawers. So this is what I was saying about, they have this whole section where the drawers are all these, you can get these modular units to put in the drawers. And the unfortunate thing with us is that in, in our house, the drawer that I was trying to find, I wanted to make basically with this big cutlery drawer in our kitchen. And I wanted to find things that I could put the, like to section out the drawer. But the one unfortunate thing was that whatever way the sort of the modular measurements are done with the Ikea drawers, it's 50 centimeters deep is what the drawers are. But unfortunately our drawer is 47 centimeters deep. So we had to, we couldn't get as much as we wanted and we had to sort of play around with it. But we got three uh, things which we're gonna use together. So they're not perfect, but it's something. So we got this one, which is for storing knives in. So there's kind of these prickly bits and the knives like stand down into it. So that's quite cool. This one then is a very standard one, which is just for like your cutlery and baby spoons and stuff. And then this one was just another one that we got that was kind of grippy and this, um, I don't know what I'm actually gonna store in this, but we have lots of kind of odds and ends that can go into this. So I'll show you what they look like in the drawers, but they have so many different variations of these and they all have these kind of cool grips on them so they don't slide around inside your drawers. And also the other sort of benefit to having ones like this, that they are removable so you can clean them. Other things for the kitchen we got were, we got this um, pot stand, which is called the Variera and my mom has this. She, it's actually designed to go into a drawer, but she uses it at her, um, she uses it beside her sink. And that would work for us as well because our sink is not, oh, actually have to build it. But basically, huh, I can show you the picture of it. See if you can see what it looks like, which is like this kind of a thing and it folds out. And again, I will insert an image of what it looks like when it is made and folded out. And it means that you can fold it back or you can pull it back if you do have pots that you need to stack. So I thought that was quite handy. We also have an interesting kind of bin situation here, but the bins, it was sort of a modular bin system that was designed into the drawer, but some of the bins are missing. So I had to try and measure it. And this was the best bin that I could get, which was like this big black narrow bin. It's a 22 liter bin. Yeah, 22 liter bin. Um, we don't actually know if it fits yet, but we're gonna try it and see. If not, we'll use it for something else besides the bin. But they've loads of different sizes of these. They, some of them have, you can like buy lids to go with them. They've got like handles, but you can use them for so many different things. And there's various different sizes, heights. Like there was a taller one than this. There was a smaller ones, narrower ones. So there's loads of different things like that. I got this and this is for, I wanted to, we have like a pantry shelf to pull out and I wanted to put a vegetable, like this for vegetables into it. If it doesn't fit in the pantry, I'm gonna use it for underneath the sink and I'm gonna put like all my cleaning stuff down into it so that I can kind of, if I'm going cleaning the house, I can take out my cleaning stuff um, and it'll all be in this and I can just bring it around with me around the house. Ronan wanted to get a garlic press because he's sick of chopping garlic. So he got a garlic press again from the 365 range and this is the Vardiful. And so he got that. We got a new scrubby brush. We get one of these every time we go to Ikea and they have them in three different colors and they have this like suction cup at the end which is good so you can kind of stick it to your sink and uh, we also got which i get every time i go to ikea got these candles they're vanilla so i got a big vanilla one mm, that's not a gorgeous ice cream and then i got two small ones and i have metal containers which um i'm gonna pop these into but i won't be burning any candles at the moment because it's way too hot at the moment to burn candles so we don't have space for a toilet roll holder in our bathroom um, so I wanted to get a basket that like either plastic or metal that I could put underneath the sink so I got this lovely blue one and I'm gonna just it's got a little handle on it and I'm gonna use it and stack toilet rolls into it so that'll be always under the sink 
um, so that people don't run out. And then we also got it in white to go in the bathroom. And I'm gonna actually turn this one, I think, into a bin by just putting a white bag into it. So there's like a little handle on it. The handle is kind of pointless enough, but I just thought that they would be really cute in on our bathroom floor. So the two of them side by side and the color scheme of our bathroom is this kind of a powdery blue color and white. Then, uh, yeah, so my second last thing was I got some picture frames. These are to replace previous picture frames that had broken. Um, one thing I've noticed though is, so this is the Reba frame, and I'm convinced that previously, this is a 30 by 30 centimeters by 40 centimeters, but I'm convinced that previously these frames had glass in them and now it's plastic. And that's one thing I just, I'm a bit disappointed about, but I suppose it makes them lighter and you probably won't notice when they're hanging, but that's just one thing I noticed. We also got a huge big frame, which I can't really show you at the moment, but I will show you shortly. Um, I'll take a picture of it and put it inserted here. But we got two of these frames. I remember the big frames always being plastic, but I didn't remember the small ones. Um, and I think I threw the glass out, which is kind of upsetting. So I would have had the glass from the previous frame. But anyway, that's just something to note. I don't know if that's just me or if they've always been like that, but I do think that a couple of years ago when I bought frames that they were glass. And the final thing we bought was a lampshade for the spare bedroom. I love this, I want to color it in. And one thing that you have to note is that if you are buying these, remember that you need to get these little things that go with it, just so that the, they'll sit properly. Um, it kind of goes around this fixture thing. And so you just have to make sure that you buy, oh, just I only buy one of them. Oh, oh so frustrating, you went to buy two of them and I only bought one. But look, I'll be at Nike again soon, I'm pretty sure, because there's lots of different things that we have to buy. But anyway, um, but yeah, that's my Ikea haul. That was all the things I bought in Ikea. Um, I've listed everything in the down bar below, all the prices, the ones that we got. Ikea is just, it's great. It's so good. There's so many things that you can get and everything is just quite, there's a lot of like kind of fancy stuff as well, but a lot of it's just neutral and really nice and goes in most houses. And um, so if you're moving into a new apartment, go to Ikea. If there's no Ikea near you, I'm so sorry. Maybe order online. Um, but that's it. That is it for today's video. Thank you for joining me for my first video in my new house. It is so warm inside this room. I am sweating. I, everyone from, I, like I'm looking at uh, people on Instagram and they're talking about how like LA is super hot at the moment and it's up in the 40s and whatever. And we in Ireland are getting 20 to 25, sometimes close to 30 degree weather at the moment, which is unheard of. We do not get it for as long as we have. It's very warm. But it's amazing, but I'm just, I need to open this door and go out into my house and get some air going because it's so hot in this room uh, for filming. But I hope you liked this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me, please click the subscribe button. Loads of house related content coming. I've got videos on stress busting. I've got the whole video of when we moved in here and all of the things that went wrong. Oh my God. So I'll tell you all about that in one of my next videos and I'm still doing my fortnightly uploads for probably another month or so, just while I get settled, there's still so much to do. But then I will be back with a bang with weekly uploads and you can find me on my social media, keep an eye on my Instagram if you wanna see updates of my house and I'll be back with another video in two Sundays time. Thanks for watching.